Hang on, we're pulling. Okay. This fifth combo point is coming in at, like, basically the same time the poison knife is coming up. Now I'm full energy. The energy management and combo point management is kind of tricky on Saber Slash. Because you have a lot of these random resource generations where you don't exactly know when they're going to be coming in, so it's hard to be efficient with them. Saunders fell. That was a bad Thistle Tea at the end. I waited too long on the Thistle Tea. 2.8 though, that's pretty good. No world buff. Blade Doom Guard Belt X2. Complete shit. <laughs> I don't think this is good. Yeah, that was strong. That was, uh... Better than I expected, to be honest. I didn't think we would do that much. I think my best Kazig without world boss was like 2.7, I believe, before. And that, like, that was no, th that was effectively no thistle tea. I, I used it in the last like five seconds and didn't have enough globals to spend the energy. Blackguard, Shadow Flame. We're hoping to see an Empyrean Demolisher there. That would be a upgrade over our Blackguard. Empyrean Demolisher or Iron Foe would be good pickups. Now we're going to Azergos, where I don't believe there's anything we want off of that guy. And then it'll be Onyxia next. And Onyxia, we can always get tier tokens. We already have the Necklace. We don't want a Viskag. That's not very good. Yeah, so it's probably just tier tokens. What about Fell Striker in main hand for Saber Slash? You don't put a dagger in the main hand. You could put it in the off hand if you wanted to, and then 1.7 is not good for that. Did I actually have all the right runes? Let me look. I didn't double check that before. Yeah, we do have the right runes. That was all set properly. Nice. Might be easier. Yeah, there's less stuff to maintain because you automatically activate your carnage. So you 
You don't have to be casting and refreshing rupture. The only thing I have to like monitor the time on for the most part is slice and dice, right? I have to recast that whenever it goes down. I do kind of have to monitor the time on Saber Slash to make sure I don't lose the stack. But generally that's that's like not a non-factor because I'm just going to press Saber Slash often enough that I don't have to think about that. Blackguard is 1.8 speed though. Yeah, it is. This isn't Blackguard. It's Implacable Blackguard, which is 1.4 speed. Uh, let's see. As it goes, we can do a Frost Protection Potion. Do I have a current guide on tanking? Uh... The best I can offer you is I tanked a lot of dungeons and talked about it while I was tanking them in the live stream. Last time I did a tanking guide video, it was among the worst viewed videos on my channel. Class specific guides are a niche. Rogue tanking is a niche of a niche. It's just really low priority for me to create that content because there's just like... There's a couple people that are really enthusiastic about it, but there just isn't a big audience for it. That's the reality of it. All right, to Azurgos we go. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that Kazakh performance. That was good. See if we can do something similar on Azurgos. I think, I think Saber Slash is probably the way to go on Azurgos if you are assuming that you're not going to get quick dispels on the attack speed slow because I think the attack speed slow hurts saber slash less than it hurts mutilate that would be my guess yeah 009 I would pick up the dungeon tanking build that's in my discord uh, and then, uh, I would, you know, blunderbuss and shuriken toss are your main threat generators. You know, make sure they're up for the start of each pull. Notorious B.I.G. Hello, how's it going? Wait, are we chilling outside to, like, summon some people or what? Wait, did these guys go to Onyxia? the first warlock here.
Jeans82 says hit it 98 parse on Golemag Heat 2. Very cool. Golemags, I like that boss, dude. I like that boss because. Okay, basically all of the Molten Core bosses used to be much more like Golemag, where I just walk up to the boss and I attack it, and then the boss dies. We collect our loot and go on, and I have fun. But then they did all these Season of Mastery bullshit mechanics, making every boss complicated. And now it's like Golemag is one of the last ones where you just roll up to him and pump and have a good time. Yeah. I fucking hate it. How so many people are like so loud on the forums and the Reddit and the Twitter and the whatever. They're like, oh my God, the game's too easy. We need it to be harder. We need complicated mechanics that no one can understand except me. It's like, no, bro. We just chillin', blasting, and having fun because it's easy. All right, Azergos. What do you guys think is going to be Azergos loot? We don't need any of it. Uh, already got Poussant Cape. Poussant Cape would be good. Uh, I think the casters really want Fang of the Mystics. I think that's a good drop off of this boss. I'm pretty sure everyone will be sad if we get Leggings of Arcane Supremacy. Which consumes do we need to refresh here? The caster shoes you think are good? Okay, uh, which boss do we need to refresh? We want Frost Protection on. And then we need to refresh a food buff and a chili buff. Perhaps we should do a Rumsey Rum. This, depending on how quickly we pull, the fire water might last. It might not. Ready, ready, ready. Perdition Blade and Fell Striker. Well, just put the Perdition Blade in your bank. Don't enchant it. Um, use your Fell Striker and your Distracting Dagger. And just pray that Blizzard changes Deadly Brew or something. To make slow weapons even remotely usable for mutilate builds. Oh yeah, this is something that's cool, dude. So this tank does a b or this boss does a bunch of threat resets, right? Whenever it does teleport, it's crazy and it's so annoying to deal with. But if you use a warlock tank who has a fell guard. The fell guard is unaffected by the teleport. So you just you just you never have to worry. Oh, it's insane. The fell guard always has threat after a teleport. It's so good. that. Okay, not anymore. Uh-oh, vanishing.
Kick the Frost Breath. Don't drop the Saber stack. A little low on energy here. Mana Storm could have kicked that. Should have kicked that. We just had a little bit of chaos at the start here. Now things are a little more orderly. So I can kick more. Handle more stuff properly. Kick cooldown there. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Hang on. Need to not attack. Save that saber stack? Okay. We're in trouble here. I don't know why I have so much threat. I'm saving the saber stack and I'm just trying to lose some threat. Did I, like, resist a teleport, perhaps? See, look. Teleport, and now it's on the demon. Very nice. Ah, uh, Sunder's at four stack. I'm a little afraid to press these bullies. Now I'm good to press the coolies. No, I dropped the saber stack. How'd I do that? Okay, well, whatever. We actually just got... Okay, the, the saber's losing the 10% from Master of Subtlety now because I dropped it. This has been a bit of scuffed execution. The opener was a little a little hectic with too many things going on. Then, then it was chill. Then we had a, a threat issue. I'm not exactly sure uh, why, but we had to throttle damage for, for a little bit. Hopefully things are back to being good. Too slow on that frost breath. Sundress fell off. management there. I let my poison knife cooldown come up without having the energy to cast it immediately. Come on, cast a spell. I'm so ready to interrupt whatever spell this idiot's going to cast. Okay, he didn't. And I used one of my last globals on pressing a buff that was irrelevant. Oh, Fang and Crystal. That's it. I think that's good loot. Ah, uh, Sniper Scope Somatic. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that. I know that's good for the casters. And I think this is good for the healers. So that's nice. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Do 
Do hunters actually use the Biznik Acuroscope that gives hit chance? Or do they just, like, have enough hit chance on their gear that they don't care about that? And they want to run Sniper Scope anyways. Don't you? Yeah, you just use sniper scope. Okay, nice. What do you need? Ratchet, Brackenwall Village. There we go. go. To Onyxia we go. There's one. Uh, we're hoping for a tier piece. Any uh, scorched core gear. On this character, we have only the boot. So any piece other than boot, we'd be thrilled with. Actually, from ads in Heat 2. Um, no, you can't do that in any Heat version. Well, I mean, you can separate them, but I think what you're trying to do is you're trying to get um, the ads to not heal the boss. You can't do that anymore. The heal got, you could do that in the first like lockout or something, but that got patched. The heal ability now ignores line of sight and has a 50,000 yard range. So you can separate them if you want to, but you're not stopping them from healing by doing that no matter what heat level you're at. What's your main hand weapon? Well, you can see, oh, and you also, someone else wants to know, uh, are you running Carnage? Um, tell us about the Saber Slash build. These are actually all three of these questions. It's crazy, check this out. Uh, in the first lockout, it was definitely casting faster. Faster than a rogue could handle solo. But they said they nerfed the cast frequency. I'm not sure by how much. I assume they nerfed it by enough that, like, one rogue could handle it. Flips LOL says, I just found out that if you drink them in the correct order, Mongoose and Greater Agility stack. 
By stack, do you mean you have both of the buffs active at once, or do you mean you benefit from both of the buffs? I would check your agility value as you drink those potions and see if they actually stack in the way you want them to stack. <laughs> Did Blackguard have to be crafted at the BRD Anvil? Yes, it does. I escorted a warrior in there. Actually, I didn't do a lot of escorting. The warrior pretty much had a shield on, aggroed everything, jumped out a window, all the mobs reset, and then he walked up to the Black Anvil. I actually was in stealth, not aggroing anything. Yeah, pretty much the whole way there. Yeah, it was pretty much handled it. Would you still run Saber I don't- man, I just picked Saber Slash because it's cool and I want some variety. Okay, well, that guy's dead. That's too bad for him. How do Warriors solo Black Anvil? Well, I just described it. He put a shield on. He charged through everything. And then he jumped out a window and the mobs reset. And then he walked up to the black the, the anvil. Yeah, I don't think backstab build is uh close to saber slash or mutilate. Can't you? How's it going? Simon Rizzler. Dude, look at... We got a kind of cool-looking sword combo. Implacable Blackguard. And Shadow Flame Sword. Red Glow. Well, okay, it's more like Orange Glow. And White Glow. On the same, like, sword base model, so it looks super... You know, I, I think it looks pretty cool. Swapping current main hand for Viscag? No. I already passed on one Viscag. It's just not very good. Alright, we got Onyxia, and then we got Wagnawos. Okay. Wagnamos is what we're doing all the world buffs for. We'll unboon on that boss, probably. I don't know if they're gonna do, like, one no buff attempt or if they're just going to go straight into buffed attempt we'll see Okay, Booner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll have to refresh some more stuff. 
before we do Onyxia. Let's see, we missing anyone you'd still? Onyxia's lair, Onyxia's lair. Onyxia's lair, Onyxia's lair, Onyxia's lair. Onyxia's lair. Yeah, okay, seems like we're good. Okay, zoom, zoom. Alright, so I've done Onyxia as Saber Slash. I'm thinking how I want to play this. If at all possible, I want to maintain the Saber Slash stack throughout the air phase. So I want to save Sprint to phase two. God damn. I want to save Vanish also for when... Vanish for when phase three starts, so I just am sure that I don't have any threat issue. Which might make it tricky to snapshot with Vanish with Master of Subtlety at the start. Hmm. I think the best way I can handle that is make that all work. I think the best way I can make that all work is get my snapshot on Onyxia at the start instead of being on the Drake. So I can do that in about three seconds, hit a slice, then go to the Drake if it's still alive. But that might cause threat issues. I really want to get the extra 10% on the Saber Slash on Onyxia. Um, let's see, Fire Protection Potion now. Let's see, then we need this. This, this. We got our flask going. This. One of these. Yeah, I, I think the way I have to do it is if I want that snapshot on Onyxia and I want Vanish at the start of Phase 3. I think the only way to do that is to just delay starting attacking. Like, I have to go in it, which which I'm not sure how much that's even worth. Like, I don't know if that's good. Because I'm going to do zero damage for a while. That might not be worth the snapshot. I'm going to say it's probably not worth the snapshot, and I'll just open on the Drake. And then I'll Blood Fury when I go over to Onyxia. So it'll be snapped with Blood Fury, but not with Master of Subtlety. And I'll hopefully deal a lot of damage to the Drake right away. No, there's no reason for me to gear out. I'm trying to snapshot the Saber Slash stacks.
I'm gonna see how it looks and decide. No sprint. How's the threat? 6.1, 6.6, 6, 7.5. There we go. Okay, we're okay here. This is okay. It's still... Okay, now it's dead. Holding... Oh, I shouldn't have held the blade flurry. The adds don't continually come in until phase three. But in phase three, I will want to hold blade flurry and use it specifically when an ad shows up so I can get cleave damage. So the plan here is keep this saber stack the entire duration of the fight. Um, my threat is building rather quickly. Um, don't let it drop during the air phase. Use vanish um, at the start of phase three to try to solve any threat issue. keeping saber on and we're keeping um ouch breath refresh we're safe over here we're going back in no i'm gonna lose it i'm gonna lose it i'm gonna lose the saber that i i worked so hard to get okay we lost the saber so we're not glued to the boss anymore the way it is um We can re- if we're vanishing at the start of phase three, we can re-snap it anyways. So we'll save our blood fury for then. Yeah, the, the boss moved too quickly and I couldn't keep up with it after that deep breath. I need this on my bar. I didn't put it on my bar. looking pretty good. Is this thing tanked? Yes, it is. Okay. Then we can blade flurry. Here. Now it's over there. Save the stack, go to the ad. The ad is now in front of the boss. Cannot go on it. This ad. Ooh, we're feared. We're in front. We don't want to be in front. Save the stack. Slice and dice fell down. 
Okay. Probably losing our stack over here. No, we didn't. We do not have enough damage on these ants. They are piling up quickly. They're going through the boss. Okay, we're on this one now. Oh, fear. Now I'm definitely losing the stack on Onyxia. Never mind. I thought I was losing it for sure in that fear. Boss at 3%. Evasion. Oof. We almost died, too. Yeah. Not the greatest. Askandar's Collar. Scorchcore Helm. Let's go. That's good. Scorchcore Shoulders, too? Oh, there's two? There's two Scorchcore. Oh, my God. All right, we're rolling on both of those, and hopefully we get one of them. You can look at enemy damage taken. I don't think I did very good. Yeah, I didn't do very good on hitting the adds as much as I could have. I didn't hit the adds at all during phase two, because I was staying on the boss. I'm not sure how much of this is Phase 2 Onyxian Warders and how much of it is Phase 3 Onyxian Warders. But we were definitely getting overrun. We didn't have enough damage on the Warders in Phase 3 because they were piling up. There were multiple out at once. Let's see what we can do here. Helm. Uh, we rolled an 18. Not getting that one. We'll uh, try again on the shoulder. Ring of Binding? Is this good? It is not. <laughs> Ain't no way. Scorch Crow Shoulders? We rolled a 98! What, what, we tied a 98? Holy shit. We rolled a 92 the second time. Oh my god, I think we got the shoulders. I think we got the we got the shoulders. That's a good one. Backpack. How this guy rolling these rolls? You missed the part where we rolled an 18 on the first item. Okay. Big pog damage. T Money Ustler. Hello. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate your support. How's it going? Two different 100 rolls on this backpack right now. All right, let me think. Do I have... I don't think I have a way to get these enchanted and equipped before we hit up Ragnaros. Big pog damage.
boss is skinnable. Yep, if you send me the Cindercloth Cloak and the Rune Threat, the guild has supplied me with the Scale of Onyxia, and I can, uh, you know, I, I got that for you. Alright, I guess we're, we're bailing. Orc to Orc, that would be great. Okay, there we go. Earthsinger Zai with the Prime Gaming. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. 15 months of support. Always happy to have you here. Hope you're having a good day, Earthsinger Zai. There we go. Orc, Mark, 